be honest with you. I, I, I watched something this weekend, and I stayed up too late last night watching it. It, it just kept me awake afterwards. And, and it, it's, it's this show on Lifetime called Surviving R. Kelly. Has anyone, I don't know if anyone here has seen this, but oh my goodness gracious, it is, it premiered to huge ratings um, the other day. They ran it for three days straight, six hours of it. Each episode is, is an hour long. And the good news about any of this is that whenever they air and, and show shows like this that, that focus on, um, you know, sex crimes or yeah. something like that, the calls go up. Yep. Awareness goes up. So they said, you know, the, the, the hotline received a 27% increase in, in calls once this show aired, which is, gr which is one of the good things about it. And then when Christi Christine Blase Ford, when she did the Testified, uh, the testified yeah. um, that they went up 147%. So, though, you know, those, those are the, 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 the only good things I can see coming out of this. But you, this thing was, was unbelievable to the point where R. Kelly streaming, I think it went up 16%. Well, no, 16 percent, and, and Jada Pinkett Smith had a question. Yeah. She goes, why is it after this came out that the streaming, his sales have spiked substantially in this whole, after all of this thing for something this guy has, supposedly has done that just he was never convicted of, but when you watch it, what compelling evidence there is against him. And, and I, I really look back and, and think, because I know his ex-wife, Andrea, Okay. You know, she did a show with my ex fiance back in the day called Hollywood Exes. And I never knew a lot of this stuff that she had gone through because she just had this vibrant, outgoing it's not personality. not something you share a lot. That's yeah, the problem. But, but, yeah. And then when I see her personality now, I'm amazed that she went through all these things where you basically were locked in a room and, or you had to come and knock to ask if you could eat or take a shower or like just incredibly crazy things. And there was a list, she said, of 15 or 17 things that abuse victims go through. And she read the list and she said, oh my goodness, there are only like two things on the list that he hasn't done to me. Oh. And, and so, I mean, I just think that it's a tough subject and a tough show to watch, but at the same time, I'm glad it was done so that people understand, because it's very hard to understand the families and the parents and, and some of the situations that people ended up in, but that it is possible and that you always have to be on your guard and you always have to take care of those people around you and make sure that they are protected. I think right? this... That, and it's just a, a great lesson in that. I think this uh, program in general is imperative because uh, sexual predators and assault and abuse always happen in isolation and they feed on shame and silence. Yeah. So it's not a topic people talk about. And the problem is until we're informed of these things, no one can do anything about them. Mm -hmm. And often the story stays quietly with the victim. So I think as uncomfortable as a lot of these are to watch, there were there's programs like The Keepers, Spotlight, different programs that have made movies or docu-series around yeah. these things. And people say, oh, I don't like to watch it. It's uncomfortable. You lucked out if all you have to do is watch it on a program. Yeah. So so everyone should be watching these because ultimately it's going to be information and education that changes these accepted crimes that are going on all around us. Yeah, and yeah, and, and, and got to say that R. Kelly he denies he did all deny, of the, yeah. the accusations against him. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.